This video is designed to give you information on how to use our online cataloging system, which is called Destiny. I want to show you something called Destiny Quest today, which is a more interactive social media part of Destiny's online cataloging system. The easiest way to go ahead and access this is to get to O'Neill's webpage and then click on the LRC button. Once our, my home page, the LRC page, comes up, go ahead and click on O'Neill's online catalog, which is called Destiny, and it'll take you right to the portion that is called Destiny Quest. Now, I wanted to share Destiny Quest with you because it has a lot of interesting features in it. The first thing you're going to want to do, as it says right here, it says, hello guest. So right now, you're not going to have access to any of the social media components that I think are going to be very interesting for you to utilize you need to log in. So every time you use Destiny, I would suggest that you log in because it will give you access to all of the things that you have been saving. So you're going to click log in and then you're going to log in the same way you do to any of our products now in District 58 with your username and password. Now I've created a fictitious student whose name is Saffron Squires just to give you an idea of what is in, in the catalog. So as you can see here, it's going to look a little different than what you're used to seeing with a, with a catalog. This area right here is where you can make recommendations, where you can keep lists for yourself. It has lots of components to it, and this is part of what's called My Quest. So as you see over here, My Quest has shelves, one that says Have Read, Now Reading, Want to Read, and then there's something else here that's called My Lists. Let's say that you are interested in a book that I have recently book talked. Let's say it's Darkest Corner. This is going up showing me that this book is currently in. So I'm going to click on that book. Now, if I decide that I want to put this book on a shelf, you have a couple of options. You could say that you have read this book and I could put it on my have read shelf. And if you noticed over here, my have read shelf just went up. If I want to add it to my personal list, I could go ahead and click add to list. Let's say you read this book and you really liked it and maybe you want to recommend it to someone. You can click recommend and then you can find anyone who's in our school. I'm going to look for Mrs. Horn right now. I can click on that and I could write Mrs. Horn, this is a great book. Now, I, as a librarian, need to approve any comments or recommendations that are sent between all of the students. So, obviously, this is a perfect time to practice your digital citizenship skills and make sure that whatever you are saying is appropriate to what it is that you're talking about. If you've read this book and you want to add a review, you can click Add a Review and you have an opportunity to do a regular rating scale with stars and or you can also write a comment in here. Let's say I'm going to rate this. I really like this book, say. So I'm going to click Save. Now it's saying that there is a review without a comment, but it gives you some idea. So this is, I really hope that you take advantage of this and really step up and do a lot of reviews because I think it's a, a perfect opportunity. Now, the really awesome part that we have now is for you to have the ability to place your own hold. So let's say I want to place a hold on a book. Anna Dressed in Blood. Let's see. Let's say I'm interested in that book. See how it says out right there? It's telling me it's checked out. But that's okay because if you want, you can go ahead and put a hold on it. You just click on that. It tells you when you've placed a hold on it. If I were to go back in and let's say I didn't remember that I had already placed a hold on this, if you're logged in, you can go back and you can see, oh, wait a minute, I already have a hold placed on this. Now I'm going to go back to my quest because I want to pull up that original screen. Another part that you can get into is this friends part. And this is really nice because if you like to talk about books with your friends, this is a perfect opportunity. You can request that people become your friends and there will be people that will ask to become your friends. So you have to approve those just like on Facebook. I would encourage you to get in and play with this. You are going to find features that I am totally unaware of. So please, if you find something awesome and you want to share it, we are more than willing to hear that. And share them with your friends. Tell everyone what you're finding in Destiny Quest. Your lists, your reading shelves are your own. 
as with any time when you log into something, it is really important that you log out. It's just a really good practice to get into when you are sharing a public computer to always go ahead and log out.